12 Most Disturbing Things Discovered in Basements. Number one, mysterious well. When a guy bought a new house, he found that the basement had bricks on the ground. He thought those bricks were heavy and wanted to move them, but they weren't really heavy at all. When he pulled them, there was a door underneath it. He opened the door and saw something scary, an eight foot deep hole with four feet of water in it. Why does a well need to be protected with a weighted trap door? The homeowner never found out what was going on in his new property. Instead, outsmarting the majority of two curious for their own good movie protagonists, he snapped some photos of his creepy discovery, filled the well with stones, and promptly sold the house. Number two, discovered upon inspection. In 2008, a young woman who was in danger of dying was admitted to an Austrian hospital. She had kidney problems and her life was bad. But the doctors were even more worried. The man who brought her in had a strange story about not being related to her and just showing up with a note from the mom that he needed to bring her. And why does she have signs of malnourishment? Why were her teeth rotting? Doctors were right to ask questions about this man. Little did they know, he was one of Austria's most notorious criminals. Joseph Fritzl built a chamber underneath his home and then made his daughter Elizabeth help him install the door. He drugged her and moved her body inside the basement. She would not see daylight for 24 years. Fritzl committed bad crimes in the bunker. Fritzl sexually assaulted his daughter and she had seven kids. Three were adopted by Fritzl and his wife. One of the children, Kirsten, got sick and was taken to the hospital. Then Fritzl's lies came out that he did bad things in the bunker with his daughter Elizabeth. Number three, the haunting of Ohio House. When a group of students at Ohio State University moved into a house together, they thought they were living the dream, but things didn't seem right. They would come home and the house would smell strange or appliances would be turned on with no one in them. When they heard strange noises coming from the basement, they investigated. It turns out the house wasn't haunted, but it might've been better if it was. There was a locker in the basement. It led to a secret room with a bed textbooks, and even framed pictures. Someone was living in the house without any of their roommates knowing. A squatter, Jeremy, lived in the house last year. He has not left yet. The students say that the landlords never changed the locks or even asked for keys that said, do not duplicate. For all they know, dozens of people can come and go as they please, free to roam around their old home. Number four, live wire. When Linda and Wally DeForest of Goshen, Indiana, moved into a new home, they had no idea that they were also moving into extremely dangerous territory. Linda unpacked, as you do, and started setting up a room for Wally in the basement when she made a baffling discovery. She called her husband and said that she found a torpedo in the basement. Wally was understandably skeptical, but upon further investigation, he found out that she was right. There was indeed a heavy green torpedo in their basement. The couple consulted with an army veteran who explained that it was a round for either a mortar or a lightweight anti-tank weapon from the Korean and Vietnam War. Eventually, an explosive ordnance disposal unit came in to take the bomb away. When the DeForest asked how it got into their basement in the first place, the unit admitted that people sometimes kept the torpedoes as souvenirs. Might we suggest a postcard or snow globe for the next time? Something nice and, you know, not explosive. Number five, skeletons in the basement. When a Wisconsin woman decided to renovate her home, one of the first things she did was dig in her basement. Imagine her surprise and terror when she discovered that she had been living above a secret graveyard. As she dug, she discovered a terrifying assortment of human remains, including the worst possible option, a child's skull. But thankfully, there wasn't a secret serial killer behind the bodies. Instead, it turned out that her house was built atop an old burial ground. The skeletons may have been almost 200 years old. It took the homeowner 15 long months to secure approval from the State Historical Society before she could resume her renovations. Definitely one of the weirder fixer-upper problems we've heard. Number 6. Mummified Remains In 2010, two women were cleaning out the abandoned basement of their apartment building when they made an utterly chilling discovery. After the woman found a mysterious trunk in their building's basement, they opened the dusty bag and felt their blood immediately turn to ice. The trunk contained the mummified remains of two newborn infants wrapped in 1930s newspapers. The police looked around and learned the trunk's story. The owner was Janet M. Berry, not J. M. Berry who wrote Peter Pan, by the way. The bodies in the trunk were her children, so she put them there, 
but we don't know why or what happened to them because she never told anyone about it until she died at 97 years old. Number 6. Indiana Jones Beware A couple in Rexburg, Ohio who lived in a house they had just purchased started to find that there were snakes. The more they looked around the house, the more things that seemed to miss. They saw noises coming from under their floors and heard noises coming from inside of the walls. So they decided to remove some siding on their basement wall. And when they removed it, all of a sudden, everything made sense for them. Dozens of snakes came pouring out of the wall. And for a bonus gross fact, during this time, the couple noticed that their water had an onion-like taste, which a snake expert suggested was probably from the musk snakes exude when they are frightened. Removing the nest would have cost $100,000. So the couple, not wanting to sup on snake musk water the rest of their lives, filed for bankruptcy and moved out. Number 7. Hidden Room Hold My Beer It was a normal day on Turkey's Anatolian coast. The year was 1963, the sky was blue, and a regular homeowner uncovered an entire hidden city. He knocked down a wall and found a room with many more rooms behind it. Derinkuyu is one of the strangest and most impressive archaeological finds of the 20th century. This ancient city, believed to have been home to the Hittites, was formed by a vast network of underground tunnels. At least eight levels have been excavated and more are expected. There were kitchens for cooking food, livestock facilities for keeping animals safe from danger, washrooms for washing hands and clothes, and even running water from an underground river. Number 8. Burial Ground A new resident in her home was remodeling the floor in her basement when she found a gruesome discovery. Underneath her basement were the remains of a deceased child. The body was a total shock to her, but then other bodies began to pop up as she continued to remodel, and it turns out her house was built on an ancient burial ground. The cemetery was said to be centuries old, and it was discovered to be one of the oldest burial sites in the area. This makes the people buried beneath her basement to be from the 1800s. It's said that once someone disturbs a burial ground, that the spirits of those who are buried there will begin to haunt the place. This is often the case when someone does renovations on a place that is built on a burial ground. There hasn't been any information whether or not she has experienced paranormal activity, but it's still an interesting find. Number 9. Creepy Doll This old lady doll was discovered in the basement of an estate sale. The doll is very creepy and has the face and body of an old woman, which is something you typically don't see on a doll. The expression on the doll's face is one of anguish, and that is likely the face of anyone who looks at this for longer than a couple of seconds. The OP said there was a name carved into the back of the doll's neck, suggesting it was the previous owner. Reddit users began to challenge the OP into saying the name on the back of the doll into a mirror three times to see what would happen. The doll was originally found in a black box, tightly secured, suggesting someone didn't want it to be opened. Number 10. Torpedo Police were tipped off that a wealthy man in the area had been storing illegal items in his basement, so they decided to go check it out. When they got there, they found an arsenal of weaponry, including a torpedo. It doesn't stop there, there was also a tank that was found supposedly from World War II. The tank was obviously hard to remove from the man's basement given its size. It makes you wonder how it got down there in the first place. The police ordered to have the tank removed by another vehicle that is capable of removing disabled tanks from a battlefield. The man was charged, but it's unknown what his punishment was. His lawyer argued that the tank wasn't breaking any laws since it was disabled. Number 11. Demon Statue a Reddit user discovered this demon statue in the basement of a relative and decided to share it with people due to its bizarre appearance. The demon statue is holding a wire that leads back to the demon's head. Commenters joked that it was a switch to turn on the demon's mind so it could move around freely. Many people in the Reddit thread were trying to discover what it was and where it came from. Many suggested it was a foreign doll and others said it was some sort of Halloween decoration. Other people even suggested that it was used as some sort of morbid furniture like a lamp. People were trying to get the OP to plug the demon statue in, but the OP never posted about it again. Number 12. Strange Creature A Xenoarchaeologist who was born in 1782 in England owned a bunch of specimens that the man studied in his free time. After he passed, he left his possessions behind, including these morbid specimens. He locked them in the basement of an old orphanage, only to be discovered centuries later in 2006 when his things were dug up. They contained a bunch of morbid documents. Many diaries showcasing the man's weird hobby and even some of his specimens were discovered there. The creatures were unworldly, either made of other animal parts combined or completely made from scratch. 
people don't know what to do with this collection of diaries and creatures, as it's not clear if these specimens are real or not. However, just taking a look at the collection will creep anyone out.